The Australian box jellyfish, commonly called the sea wasp, is the most venomous jellyfish and considered to be the most venomous animal in the world. The jellyfish have tentacles up to 10 feet long, covered in powerful stinging cells that cause excruciating pain. The stings can cause paralysis and cardiac arrest. Victims of this jellyfish's sting have been known to go into shock and die of heart failure before they even make it to shore. The habitat range of Australian box jellyfish includes the warm waters around the north of Australia, where they are primarily spotted from October to May. During stinger season, swimmers in Australia are advised to remain at patrolled beaches and not to enter the water if the beach has been closed. Swimmers are also advised to wear full-body lycra suits, which can protect against stings. This episode talks about the stories of four jellyfish sting victims, all of which are children. Listener discretion is advised. In February of 2022, a 14-year-old boy named Mark Angelo Ligmeo was wading in waist-high water at Imeo Beach on a Saturday near the city of Mackay in the state of Queensland, Australia. Mark, who was at the beach with his family, had recently moved to Australia from the Philippines in December of 2021. His father, Nick, had been working in Mackay, Australia for several years, visiting the Philippines as often as he could as the rest of his family waited on visas that would allow them to be together again. Mark, his mother, and his sister were supposed to complete their move in early 2020 in order to reunite with Nick in Australia. However, their move was delayed due to the pandemic. Finally, they had been able to be together as a family again. Mark had just started at the local high school. Mark stood in the water for about 10 minutes before he came running out onto the beach, entwined in more than six feet of Australian box jellyfish tentacles, prompting screams to break out across the popular beach. Lifeguards rushed to assist Mark as he collapsed on the sand, doing everything in their power to try to save Mark. Lifeguards removed the tentacles from Mark's legs and immersed the wounds in vinegar. They tried to administer CPR before the ambulance arrived. Mark had gone into cardiac arrest. He died in McKay Base Hospital shortly after the incident. His mother, Agnes, later said that all she could do was pray as she watched her son groan in pain. A beach bystander, Kirby Dash, said later that she was at the beach celebrating her mother's birthday when she saw Mark stumble out of the water with an unreadable expression on his face before groaning for help. He had gone into shock and his legs were covered in tentacles. Kirby said that as lifeguards and bystanders rushed to Mark's aid, parents screamed at their children to get out of the water. Before Mark went swimming, lifeguards had just dragged the beach for jellyfish. Mark reportedly loved riding his bike to school and had been close to his five-year-old sister. His mother said that he had planned to eventually join the army. Story 2 On February 22nd of 2021, a local 17-year-old boy was swimming at a beach in Queensland, Australia's western Cape York when he was stung by an Australian box jellyfish. The area he was swimming was called Patterson Point, located near the village of Bamaga. The teenager lived in a very remote community. A team from the Royal Flyer Doctor Service flew from Cairns and stabilized the teenager before transferring him to Townsville Hospital's intensive care unit. He died in the hospital on March 1st, about a week after being stung. Marine biologist Dr. Lisa Ann Gershwin said the 17-year-old's death was preventable with better resources and education for remote communities. A sting from the Australian box jellyfish causes a reaction that essentially locks the heart, rendering CPR ineffective. Story 3 In January of 2006, a 7-year-old girl 
was swimming off Umagico Beach near Bamaga in the northern peninsula area of Cape York in Queensland, Australia. At 12.30 p.m., she was stung by an Australian box jellyfish. She came out of the water screaming and collapsed on the beach in front of her parents, who quickly dialed triple zero, the number for emergency services. Tentacles marked her chest and legs. A bystander's desperate attempts to resuscitate the girl failed. Paramedics arrived and performed CPR, but could not get a pulse. She was transferred to Bamaga Hospital. However, doctors there were unable to revive her, and she was pronounced dead at 1.20 p.m. The girl was part of a small community of only 290 people, and her loss devastated the whole community. Story 4 In March of 2003, seven-year-old Jareed Cook was swimming in unprotected waters at Wongaling Beach, south of Cairns in Queensland, Australia, when he swam into the tentacles of an Australian box jellyfish. Witnesses said he was dragged screaming from the water by his grandfather. Marks from the animal's tentacles ran across his body. Paramedics administered antivenom, but the boy, whose family only moved to the area in recent months, suffered cardiac arrest and died. Jareed's grandparents had reportedly even asked locals whether it was safe to swim at the beach, which had no protective swimming enclosures and reportedly the locals had said it was fine. Stinger expert Jamie Seymour said locals must learn it is never safe to swim in unprotected tropical waters from November until May, at the earliest. Jamie continued on to say, They may have swum there for 70 years and never been stung, but they've been lucky. They should buy a lottery ticket. 